Hello everyone, this is the Cardio Zone. My name is Zana and I'm a cardio respiratory physical therapist. The COVID-19 virus affects the respiratory system in humans by causing consolidation within the lungs in structures called the alveoli. This video shows a conservative technique called autogenic drainage, which helps in airway clearance and removing phlegm within the lungs. This phlegm and mucus buildup is what leads to frequent cough in patients. This technique can be used with patients who are diagnosed with the COVID-19 virus, who are having mild symptoms quarantined at home, or if after hospital admission are recovering at home. So let's begin with some anatomy. The lungs are two structures within our chest wall, which are filled with alveoli, which are small sacs in which the air enters from outside. They're covered with blood vessels and they help in diffusion of gases while we are breathing in and out. They form a part of bronchioles, which then opens up into the bronchus, trachea, mouth and nose. So if you do have cuff buildup or phlegm buildup, you have to get them all the way from the lower bronchioles and get them all the way to the mouth so you can cuff out easily. Now Darwin will demonstrate this technique for us. This technique uses the diaphragmatic breathing technique where you breathe into your abdomen with relaxed shoulders. Not like this, where you breathe into your chest wall and use your shoulders, but you breathe in through your nose into your abdomen and breathe out from your mouth. You have to do nine different breaths with a three second hold before you breathe out. Now the first three breaths, they consist of effortless inhalation and exhalation like this. This is breathing at low lung volume. Next three breaths, you have to breathe in with medium effort and forcibly exhale as much as possible, like this. And this is breathing from mid to low lung volume. Now the last three breaths, they require maximum effort inhalation and maximum forced exhalation, like this. And this is breathing from mid to high lung volume. Now the last breath, you have to breathe in as much as possible and perform a huff which is a cluff, cuff but with a closed glottis, like this. Now ask the patient to cuff and try to spit out the phlegm. <coughs> so in this technique, using inhalation at different volumes, we are trying to mobilize or move the secretions from the lower airways all the way to the peripheral trachea so that a few cuff can immediately help you to cuff the phlegm out. It is advised to do this technique three to five times a day, preferably after steam inhalation or if you are using a nebulizer. Thank you for watching. Stay home and stay safe.